Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass. And in this video, I'll be going over Shopify's sense theme and its colors. So how you can edit them, setting the default color scheme for your Shopify store, we're going over what types of colors you can edit and also how to find a good color scheme for your Shopify theme here as that can be important in creating the aesthetic and image of your online brand. So make sure you stay until the end of the video here as I'll be going all of that. And I also wanna say if you're enjoying any of the content along the way, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below as that would really help the channel out. So let's first go over the types of colors you can edit in a Shopify theme. So you have your text, so it's gonna be your standard sections of block text. You have your accents, so your impact buttons and backgrounds. You also have your accent gradient. So again, accent one, but you can use a gradient picker to give a different color scheme to that button. You have your accent two, which again can be applied to impact buttons and backgrounds, depending on the layout of the theme. You also have different backgrounds as well as the inverse here, but it does give you quite a bit of customization. So in terms of how to edit this for the sense theme here, what I've done is I've opened up the theme editor and you can get that by going to your Shopify dashboard, going to the left-hand side, you're gonna click on online stores and underneath that it should open up themes by default, but there is also themes on the left-hand side here. And so I have the sense theme here, and what I wanna do next is go to customize. This will open up Shopify's theme editor, where you can then edit things such as the color combinations. So the way you're gonna to get to colors here to customize the overall color scheme is you wanna to head to the left-hand side again, then under theme settings, under theme settings, you'll get quite a few options such as the logo, the typography, layout buttons, in terms of styling, but we, we want here is gonna be colors. So I'll click this open here. And then again, you're gonna get those customizations that we just mentioned in terms of the type of colors you can edit for your theme. So the main ones will be your solid button label and accent one here. As we can see, these are used for the add to cart and buy now buttons. Before we go any further, I wanna mention our sponsor, Profit Calc the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify app store. It's gonna allow you to skip your spreadsheets and get back to growing your store as you understand your true profit calculations. All you have to do is hit the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations on how your store is truly performing as well as a variety of different analytics giving you an even deeper understanding. It's gonna integrate seamlessly with your Shopify store as well as your ad accounts such as Facebook, Google, Bing, Snapchat, TikTok, and Pinterest. There's also a variety of different analytics. It's gonna to have tons of cost of goods sold options that can match how your store calculates that. There's a link in the description to access the Shopify app listing where you can access a 15 day free trial. If you search Profit Calc on the Shopify app store and look for this logo here, you'll also find it there. So if we go to edit things such as the solid button label, I'm just gonna make this black here just so it's gonna stand out. You can see the label color has now changed. And if I wanna change the accent one, I'll maybe make this a bright purple. So that should save there. And then it's gonna update my accent color. It will give you some details here. You can see this one's used for solid button backgrounds. This one's used for the foreground. You can edit these and see the output as well, live in the theme. So it makes it easy to see what's going on there. So overall in a nutshell, that's how you customize the overall colors for your sense theme. Shopify's theme editor makes that extremely easy. And now let's talk about choosing a color scheme for your website. It's very easy just to add different colors that just don't go together. It can make your Shopify store look unprofessional. So what I recommend is just Googling color schemes for websites. You can do color schemes by your niche. So maybe it's a clothing store or a home goods store. Different colors means different things, or you can just copy a similar color scheme to your favorite brands in your niche. But if you go to a website such as VisMe here, they did a really good blog article showing you quite a few examples of different color schemes. These colors tend to go together. And you can just take these different colors here, the hex codes, and then put them in to the overall colors in the theme editor here. You can also use a Chrome extension and it's just gonna be a little color matcher. So if you hover over it and click it here, I have one for my Mac here, but then if you click this, it's gonna give you the code and you can just simply copy that into your Shopify theme. This is gonna conclude the video here on Sense Theme Colors. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a much better idea of how to edit it. Also, how to choose a color scheme for your store. I wanna mention Profit Calc before I go here. There's a link in the description to access a 15 day free trial. You also search Profit Calc in the Shopify app store. You'll find the listing there. It makes it super easy to understand your store's true profit and how much money you're actually making. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below if you haven't done so already. If you have any questions, leave a comment as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.